everyone welcome back to lucky by nature angelic vixen here so today's video is about the tech bridge and i've got a lot of information to go over and i'm going to be showing you a lot of things about the tech bridge not just giving you information i'm going to show you how the mechanics work and how finicky the tech bridge actually is so the first thing that i want to go over is how you make them so you make the tech bridge in the tech replicator they're actually very cheap to make you only need crystal element metal ingots and polymer so it's actually really easy to make these things but you do have to be a level 72 again that's actually pretty easy especially when we do our video on the level up run on extinction which is coming in the near future um, so again these are very simple to make you just have your tech replicator and of course now you can get the tech replicator on extinction by beating the bosses so or the titans as we say um, so again here you go that's all you do and I just wanted to show you how simple it actually is to make these and they're cheap to make in my opinion um, so now I'm going to show you their finicky nature in my opinion I feel like they do not work um, as I guess I expected them to work so it was kind of a letdown initially when I first started doing this testing because I was like well this doesn't work because it doesn't always you know actually go it can be green and it will literally not work now they're saying that these things are about 40 foundations long depending on where you're at and as you can see it would not go down but it will go across so when you want to place one of these you have to constantly move around to see if you can get them to connect and in this video i am literally going to show you this in so many different scenarios because i feel it is imperative that you see it and me not just say it because that to me that doesn't work because I can say a whole bunch of stuff and you guys will not be able to tell what's going on because I'm not showing it now as you can see here it's green but it will not actually connect and that is why I want to show this to you and even if I put foundations down in this area it does not want to go down it will go across no problem but it will not go down and again like I was saying before these are supposed to be 40 foundations long depending on where you're at but there is a section of this video that I really think that it's actually longer than 40 foundations and you'll be able to see it for yourself to judge for yourself but because of where it's located it's not like I can just sit there and, and count them and get an accurate measure but it comes down to you know just looking at it and kind of gauging how many it is but again this is not a hundred percent I mean and then you, these are considered like foundations. So foundations typically will snap into them depending on where you are at. And that's the other thing. You can actually put foundations down and have these connect to your foundations, um, or you can put these down and then your foundations can connect to the ends. You only need to put one down and then the other side, once you actually put it down, will automatically be there. You don't need two to be able to connect them. Now, the corrupted and a lot of the dinos, they can damage these. So if you're not using them, I highly suggest that you actually um, close them because you do not want them to get destroyed. They also have pin locking, so you can utilize that through pin locking. And the reason I'm showing the platforms here is, is because these will not go on platforms. Even though platforms can hold normal foundations, the tech bridges do not connect to the platforms i don't know if wildcard will change that in the future because i feel like that's not fair if you can put a foundation on a platform you technically should be able to add the bridge i don't really know what their logic is i'm sure they're trying to avoid exploits but in my opinion you really should be able to do that because if you have a platform for instance you put the bridge on it you can get you know up and down without anybody messing with you you can just you know close it from the top and be like ha you know you can't come up here but i can walk up it with my dinosaur um but yeah it doesn't work and i'm going to show you like i could tell you but again i want to show you because if you guys see something that i'm missing you'll be able to see it better if i'm actually showing you the actual footage of it and as you can see foundations no problem so what i was doing here was putting down foundations to see if then if i could connect possibly to the foundation as you can see they snap but it's red because they are not designed to be able to connect to the platforms. I do hope Wildcard changes that, but they might have their reasons as to why they won't. I can see exploits with that, of course. You know, it's actually not that hard. So what I'm trying here is to see if I put on maybe a ceiling, 
maybe then I can connect the tech bridge. None of which worked, but if you guys know something here that I've missed that it does work, be sure to let us know in the comments because we're trying to help the art community. We want you guys to be successful. So this is why, you know, we're doing all of this, you know, extensive testing because we discover things that maybe aren't even designed by Wildcard, but they work. And then Wildcard's like, well, it's not an exploit, so they'll leave it in the game. So as you can see, people are saying this is about 40 foundations. I think that's more. I, it looks like more to me. It's possibly 40 foundations. There's another section of the video where you can see it even further. And then in my opinion, it's way beyond 40. But I guess it comes down to the location to which you put these. Now you can line them up next to each other to make a wide space. And I will show you physically, even though you can see the gaps right here, I'm just gonna put it in my hot bar. It's just easier um, to drop them down. Well, that was ridiculous. Don't do that, guys. As you can see, that is not a good... <laughs> that was a waste of resources. All right, so you can just keep putting them down. You can make the bridge really wide. And even though that there's gaps in between, you can walk on these and not fall through. So I wanted to make that very clear that even though you can see through, you're not going to fall through, okay? And then, as you can see, set pin code, deactivate, just closes it then you can activate it, it opens it. Again, I see the benefit to that with platforms because you're safer up high, nothing can get to you, unless of course, you know, it's like a dino, corrupted dinos especially, will come after these guys and destroy it because they only have like 15,000 health. So they can be destroyed pretty easy. So just be aware of that. You can connect in different directions, which is the point of showing this part. I want you to be able to see that you can go in completely different directions and make really cool, you know, setups with these bridges and I, I can see so many benefits to the way this is structured. I see flaws but I also see benefits. You just got to think outside the box. So as you can see I can go that way or I can go that way. Again it's all preference, it's all necessity, however you're going to need your bridges. These things are going to be helpful though. There's no doubt in my mind that we're going to be able to find great ways to utilize these bridges especially since they're so affordable to make. And it's funny because I'm on single player doing this testing and there is nobody near me, but that is actually being told to me because of the metal in this area. So I find that really strange that Wildcard did that, but of course they don't want people building in certain areas, so maybe that is why it's designed like that. Maybe in the future they're going to fix it. I don't know. Um, but as you can see, depending on where you put these, they may not actually go really far. They just kind of like sit there. And again, you could actually utilize this attaching ramps and things like that to make it work for your area. And then you can build them right next to each other going in different directions. And see, even though there's that lift, you see how there's that gap there? You can just still walk. And that's why I was doing this, because I want you to be able to see that just because they're uneven doesn't change anything. You still can make that work. Okay, so let's move on to the next part of this video. It, again, this is gonna be longer because I have a lot to show you, because I wanna physically show this stuff to you. All right, so I have my foundation. I don't know why I clicked that, wrong button. Okay, so you would think you would be able to do that on pretty much any edge. You cannot, it does not work. And I don't know if Wildcard will fix the mechanics of this later so that it makes more sense, but for me right now, some of this stuff is really finicky and you're not gonna be able to place them probably in a lot of the places that you want to because of the way these are designed. And then look at how they work and they don't work, depending on the direction that you're facing. So if they're obstructed at the other end, they're not going to connect and you'll be able to see it in this part of the clip pretty well um, because so at the end, where it's actually gonna go is gonna have the most um, impact on where you build these because after I get to a certain point, it gets obstructed and that is a problem because you don't know what you're gonna be running into, see? So on the other side is the problem because see that little edge over there? Let me get over here a little closer so you can see. That's the problem right there because it's uneven on, on this side. So that is why it happens and, and this is the best way to test it right here so you can see that it won't connect. All right, now this is where it gets really interesting because this is where I could see myself wanting to use this up high across plat you know, areas of these metal areas. Now, this one is willing to go down, unlike over there, it wasn't willing to go down because I think Wildcard has some of those sections completely blocked off because anything else doesn't make sense. But again, if you guys see something that I've missed, be sure to let me know because we are working on so much stuff that sometimes I don't notice it. 
Um, not that I do it on purpose, it's just one of those things. Okay, so I'm on the same side, but as you can see, it's not always even, even if you put them down on the same side. And I don't know why that is, probably because of something at the top, maybe is slightly, you know, a different height, but it did allow us to connect them. They're just slightly uneven. But as you can see, it has no impact. You can still walk on them normal without any issue whatsoever. So I'm just playing around with this because when we start our let's play, you know, I'm gonna be factoring on where I can put my bridges. And so this is what I wanted to see, connecting in different areas because of like the delivery crates. I know I'm gonna have areas where I'm gonna have my delivery crates come in and I need to be able to get to and from with my bridges. These are just things that I'm thinking kind of out loud, kind of testing with that concept, I guess, in mind. And you can overlap them, they can cross each other. It's a little bit of a pain to get across them, but you can actually have them overlap each other with no issue whatsoever and it works. So I'm just playing with this to, so you can see it's not consistent. There's not a lot of consistency with this so you're gonna have to just fiddle with it to try to get it to work the best way possible for you and for your needs. Cause see some of the areas work and some of them don't. And then some of them work depending on the direction. Now this is where I want you to see this. This was actually really impressive for the distance. I couldn't, I didn't even expect this to happen just because I was having so many issues with it, but look at the distance. What do you think? Do you really think that's 40 foundations? To me, that seems way beyond 40. I could be completely wrong, but look at this. I'm actually gonna take you down so that way you can see. What do you think that is? But the benefit to that is, is, is they're saying that you can get up to 40 foundations, but I, I truly believe based on that, that, this right here, this particular one right here, that it's way beyond that, depending on the area that you're in and making sure that it's not obstructed on either side. And what I'm testing right here, because I like to test everything possible, even if I don't think it'll work. I wanted to see if you could put railings. So that way you wouldn't need maybe multiple bridges, but you can't. The, the, I didn't think it would, but I would rather test it and show it to you than just say, no, it doesn't work. And then I could have been completely wrong. Unlike with foundations where you can put them on foundations, you cannot put that on the tech bridge, not even at the top base. But you can put ceilings off of them. And again, I like to show you, you can put ceilings so you can build, you know, an interesting concept connected to these guys, depending on where you're located to basically meet your needs. So if you think outside the box, which I always like to bring up because I feel like that's imperative, you can get really creative with this. It makes them really found, I mean, just fabulous things because it's endless possibilities. I mean, look at this and look, it will go right there. It does connect, which is bizarre, but it does connect there. So I see myself being able to build some really fantastic ideas, possibly even using sniper towers and bridges for PVP. And then of course, when I don't need them, close them. And it's gonna be much harder for people to get to you if they're not on flyers. With flyer concepts, there's a lot of really fun ways to make this work. I'm just thinking outside the box here. Now I'm gonna show you in water because again, they made corrections to this because this was a problem before the patch. It's still probably a problem on console because a lot of this stuff was updated on PC, but eventually Wildcard will make these patch you know, changes to um, console as well. So just be patient, they're coming. With console, I think it's because the coding is different. So you can place them in the water and then have them go up. Of course, you're not gonna be walking on it until you get to the actual cresting of the water but you can take them out of the water and straight up. I feel like that's really important for you to know when you take this to another map, because some people, depending on the way that their bases are designed, I could see you making this work. I could see this being really, really a great way to get to and from certain sections of um, your base. Because I know of people, even us, use, you know, utilizing you know, the water. So what I'm doing is just showing you know, you can't put them every single place, which you already know. But again, out of respect to you guys, I feel it's important to show you. And again, I know this is a longer video. I try so hard not to do this, but sometimes it's just really important. Now what I want to show you after I get over here, I'm going to cruise on over. Just want to show you different places because what's funny is these do go in really random places that you wouldn't expect. I have the bosses over here because I was doing so much testing on the island and in the water with the Titans. Um, so I'm going to show you, instead of just tell you, you cannot put these on their platforms. It won't work. I can see exploits with this, so that's why probably Wildcard did not add them to platforms. 
but it doesn't work on any platforms. And at the end of this video, I will show you that it doesn't work on the Quetz platform either, even though, you know, foundations will go on platforms typically, not the bridges. They're not designed for that. So just gonna head on over, show you real quick, and voila, you see. Now, on the island, I like it just because with Extinction, there were some really finicky areas that wouldn't connect. On the island, I didn't run into that problem just because I think it's more of an open space. I could see these also being a problem on Aberration because of the way it's designed. Um, it's not that simple. And of course, going into the water, depending on where you're at, they don't always connect the way they should. So you're gonna be doing a lot of testing and don't set up a base with the premise that, oh, I can put bridges here, there, and everywhere because that's actually not the case and you're gonna probably run into that and it's really frustrating. So, if you like the island and you like this area, man, you can connect all sorts of stuff. And again, I'm sitting here thinking of all these really creative things that I can I can do with these bridges to make base setup so different, especially in PvP when you need to get to and from certain areas. So you could have these set up, you know, open them and then get to the other side, close them, and then be shooting, let's say, from sniper towers and things like that. So get creative guys that's one thing I love about this game like there's so much that you can get really creative and think outside the box and create some really fantastic ideas I'm just excited I really I really appreciate the fact that we finally got bridges because that was becoming a really big problem with them saying we were going to get the you know dynamic bridges we never did and then they finally gave them to us so that is really exciting it's a nice change so thank you wildcard guys for giving this to us because even though they're finicky there's a lot of benefit to them. So you can create all of these things inside your base, no less, because you could have multiple buildings connecting, you know, bridges to multiple buildings. So you don't even have to get on the ground. You can just run across, let's say the top, because I like to do that. I was actually, I used to build, you know, connecting bridges between my buildings because I don't want to have to go all the way outside, go all the way around this way, that way, and so on and so forth, because that's just aggravating, you know? Like, I don't wanna have to do that, especially in PvP. Sometimes you don't want to be outside for any extended period of time because you're gonna get shot and killed. So these really clever stuff you can come up with, but they're finicky. You never really know if they're gonna work, but they work, you know, and then sometimes they don't, so. But what do you guys think? I would love to hear your ideas. If I missed anything, be sure to let me know. Um, I wanted to show you all of this stuff in detail that way you can see for yourself just how weird these bridges actually are. So now the last thing I'm gonna do before I end this video is just show you that they do not go on platforms for the Quetz as well. That includes the purser, um, but I feel it's only fair for me to actually physically show you. But if you know of anything that maybe is working that I didn't cover, be sure to let us know because again, there's so much that sometimes it's really hard just to like get all of it into one video and I don't feel like it's fair to make super quick videos that don't cover at least, you know, a lot of it. Um, so let me just put the platform on and I will put it on there for you. So how are you guys liking Extinction so far? I'm actually loving it. It's a nice change. It's something new and exciting and fun and I love that about, you know, this DLC is it, it's just exciting. And here we go. All right, guys. Well, that's it for this video. Love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, keep surviving. My work saved the human race.